Hello and welcome to the SVSU Greenhouses. Today I'm going to take you through the greenhouse and show you how we take what's seemingly useless compost and use it to make effective soil. In order to do this, we're going to show the three processes that the SVSU Greenhouse takes in order to create their own soil. This includes the worm beds, drying of the soil, and the use of machinery to break it down even farther. Let's get started, shall we? This is the first process in breaking down the soil. These are the worm beds. It consists of tons of red wiggler worms and also some compost, some uh, old soil, dead plants and whatnot. The system within the system that we use in order to break it down is called a hill valley system. Basically, I'm going to take the top layer off of three of these areas and the bottom layer of those troughs, is going, to, which is already processed, is going to go into these wheelbarrows. And now that we have three empty troughs, it's time to feed them. Now when we had our break, how many of you went to Starbucks to get a coffee or something banana flavored? Well, now that it's time to feed our troughs, we have to have food, obviously. And where does it come from? Well, we have two different sources. We've got leftover coffee grounds and banana peels from the Starbucks on campus. And we've also got some leftover produce from the cafeteria at SVSU. We're going to fill up these troughs that I just made with this food. And now the worms will have something to eat. Now we're going to go back and take all this excess dirt and place it back over top of the food. In about two weeks, it'll be time to go through and collect it again. But in the meantime, we've got some soil that's already uh, ready to be dried. So let's move on to the next step in the process, which is the drying of the soil. Now that our soil is pretty much broken down, we need to do the second process, which is the drying of the soil. We do this for two reasons. The first is we can't run wet machine or we can't run wet soil through the machinery because that'll clog up the machine. The second thing is the worms are still in this soil, so it's going to be another week or so of breaking it down even farther. Now what's going to happen is I dump this soil into these bins and these fans down at the end are going to blow on them and it's going to be about a week long process of continually rotating the soil so that the whole thing gets dried and eventually we can move on to our next process. Once the soil has been drying for about a week or so and it's ready to be run through the machines, we're going to take this shovel and take as much soil as we can and put it into this wheelbarrow. Now that we've got our wheelbarrow full of dried and broken down soil, it's time for the third process, which is taking over to the machinery. All right, this is the final process, using the machinery. Now I'm going to go ahead and explain what both machines do, and then we're going to run through it and you can see it in action. This first machine is called the seed cutter. We're going to take the soil and dump it over the top. Now this is going to be the first separation of the soil. The large, large chunks, such as potatoes that maybe didn't get broken down, uh, onions, stuff like that, is going to stay on the top and work its way up and off to the side so we don't have to deal with it. The good stuff, the stuff we're looking for, is going to seep through this machine, drop down to the bottom, and an elevator is going to take it all the way to the top. Once it's done on the elevator, it drops down below to the second machine called a shaker. The shaker is downhill and it does just what it sounds like it would do. It shakes the soil that's now on here and it's going to separate it into three separate types of soil. One of the areas it gets separated into is the large useless chunks that we don't need. As this thing shakes, those large chunks are going to work their way all the way down, run down this chute, and end up in this barrel. The second way the, oil gets, the soil gets organized once it's on the machine is it's small enough to sift through these holes in the machine and drop down below. Down below is where we get the good soil, the stuff that we've been working for this whole time. And finally, the even smaller stuff is going to go into this container, which was on the other side. And this is going to be filled with a type of dirt that feels like sand almost. It's very, very small. And these are called vermicastings, whereas these are called, this is called vermicompost. And those are just useless pieces of junk that we don't need. All right, enough talk. Let's see this thing in action. 
Now it's all separated. We've done our goal. This barrel is going to have, like I said, a lot of the useless large chunks that's not going to be broken down into soil. We're going to take this and put it back into the worm beds so that when we start the cycle all over again, we're going to have something to work with. Down below, our vermicompost, which is what we've been working for this entire time. Nice, good soil is going to go into the barrels behind me for storage. And finally the vermic castings, the really nice sandy stuff that came out on the other side is also going to go into the vermic castings storage bin which is located behind me.